different people are coming out to accuse Dr. Anu, who is a self-proclaimed plastic surgeon for performing failed surgeries on her patients. A lot of Nigerians are putting the blames <coughs> on these ladies, asking them why, I, why do they want to go and change how they were created in the first place. <laughs> this has led us to a different topic, which is to ask this pertinent question. As a man, would you approve of your wife to undergo liposuction? What are the other ones? Just cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Yeah. The women that are going for liposuction are people who feel, they feel like they don't look attractive anymore to their spouses and they want to fix that. No, she, can, you, can they be blamed for that? No, no, no. Let's separate the issues. Yeah. A man who wants to cheat will cheat. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to do That's with the wife. Just, uh, nothing. Absolutely yep. nothing. Because the thing is, um, we have been designed in our different body types. We've been given this pattern, our different body types. And so we've have we've had um, we've been given allowances for when childbirth comes mm -hmm. and it's not even only married women who do most of the people who've been doing this um, uh, plastic surgery are young people who are not even married yeah. we need to recognize that people have different needs and that even though it may be hard for us to understand or comprehend because we're not in their shoes there are people who it has helped physically yes as well as mentally and um, because of that, that is why there's a market for it. Because mm. those people recognize that there are people who would need it because it will make them feel better. So we mm. put that aside. That now, has to do with the third party. No. It's about them. Yes, yeah. about them. Mm. I have decided this. This is something I've, I, I, I've heard of stories of people who are really um, buxom ladies who have saved up every year to make sure that they can get it reduced yeah. so that they can fit better into their clothes, they can take the pain off their backs. We have people who have always wanted to look nicer in their jeans. I want to, when I wear my jeans, I don't want it to be flapping at the back. I want right. to feel my jeans. Yes. And they put their monies together and there's nothing that you tell them. So having said that, the fear that I have in Nigeria is that in Nigeria, we judge them. Mm -hmm. And because we judge them, we are not very careful to, um, to, to accredit the people who are meant to be doing this. We're not careful to make sure that the people who are providing these services are qualified. And when um, malpractices happen, where people are dying on the table or they are getting bot surgeries, they are left to just, yeah. you know, they are left to, their, yes, so. yes. So they are left alone and then yeah. either they handle it or they pass on. So that is the, that is the, the that's what mm -hmm. is more, um, more serious to me, mm. that even though we don't accept it, there is a market for it. There is a market There are for people it. for it. And our system, our, uh, our, especially the medical um, association, has to make sure that the people who are providing these services are meant Thank you, Mariam, for to... taking us there, because that's the problem. That's where, that, that's where we're heading to. Yeah. The people that undergo these surgeries are judged. And because of that, they don't get the right adequate at attention. But people do it for the right reasons. Mm. Not because oh, they feel they want to look better for their husbands, mm. but it boosts their confidence. Yes. yes. What I have to say is that there's no way I allow my wife to go for anything that is called surgery. It doesn't make sense. Okay. How can I put you through that pain? Put you through that, um, 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 through that trauma? I can't. I fell in love with you and I fell in love with the person. Mm. Even if you get big, I now accept it. Hmm. I've contributed to you being big. So what is it? No, oh, that's, that's sweet. That's sweet. Morayo, <laughs> me, I will love you like that. Though. If you like, get fat, oh. get big. Oh. That is the person I love. Oh, what, if the, nice. what if your wife actually wants it for her confidence? No, 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 no. I will discourage her. Please, I will. <clears throat> I won't accept it. I will. Because I know the dangers of her going under the knife. Mm. I won't. I, I mean, so I'm going for, let's go with the right reasons, because yeah. when I was a young single lady, when, before I got married, I mean, I had my own personal, because we all have insecurities, yeah. so we have that part of my body that I just felt, this thing wasn't perfect. I know I ran to my mother, I said, mommy, this, my, this part of my body is not, is not right. <laughs> I said, don't worry, your own husband would not complain. I said, oh. no. She, I kept saying, I have to do something about it, because I felt as a young lady that I can fix this. Hmm. I said, no, your own, the one that is your own, mm, would we'll accept you, you the way it is. Mm. And... When, the first time, I said, my husband had seen me, you know, in the way God did me. <laughs> and I ran home, I said, Mommy, he has seen it. Okay, so what happened? <laughs> the world did not <laughs> end. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. You know, but you see, I can understand when a young woman 
feels totally insecure about the part of her body. Mm. And the point we're trying to have in this conversation is that please don't judge them. Yeah. They have a right to choose what they want to want what they want to do. However, what we are asking is that don't we don't want people putting them under pressure to do what they would ordinarily do by themselves. The truth is, see, even if we don't go under the knife, we take tea. Mm -hmm. to reduce some places. Yes, we take drugs yes. to reduce other places. Some people yes. are workout junkies, even yeah. on this table. Right. They are always working out right. because right. they want to maintain that. So we are still <laughs> all doing the same thing, the same ways. thing in different ways. No so if I don't want to you know, do a lot of exercises like Miriam, and I, I feel I have the money to just take it out once and for all, I can afford to do it. Yeah, right. So like she said, we need to support and ensure that the people who are handling it are not quacks because we're taking that we, we've, we've seen stories where a lot of people come in and is sagging after a while for those ones who use injection those are dangerous wrong, yes. dangerous we need to talk to people yes, about it yes. if you want to do it do it the right way